guys, me again. I've been throwing around a lot of terms in the comic lately, and I've been getting a few email questions about what they all mean, so I figured I'd show you rather than tell you. I'll be covering more than just this in the future, but I'm going to start off slowly with the difference between single and double action triggers. Single action, often abbreviated SA, means that pulling the trigger performs only the single action of releasing the sear of the firearm. So in a revolver, such as this Pieta copy of the Remington 44 caliber New Army, dropping the hammer... Okay, so heads up. Technically, according to the U.S. federal government, this isn't actually a firearm. Fires bullets, it'll kill you. But they don't consider it a firearm. In fact, I got this one mailed to my door, no questions asked. It's a 44 caliber revolver. You know, if I wanted a single shot 22 Derringer, I would have to go down to my local sheriff's office, get a pistol permit, pass a federal background check, and go through all sorts of other rigmarole. But the fact of the matter is, they don't consider this a gun. For the purposes of this demonstration, though, we're going to call this one a firearm. Well, I got that out of the way. As I was saying, with this single action revolver, cocking the hammer engages the sear and rotates the cylinder to the next available chamber. When I pull the trigger, the single action performed is that the hammer drops, striking in this case the percussion cap, igniting the powder, and firing the bullet. That act of dropping the hammer is the single action performed by the trigger. Got it? Moving on. This is a double action revolver, typically abbreviated DA. As you can see, there's no hammer for me to pull back. As such, when you pull the trigger, it has to perform a double action, both cocking the hammer and releasing it. You know, actually it turns the cylinder too, but I guess calling it a triple action would have just been kind of silly. So it seems pretty straightforward. Trigger does one thing, single action. Trigger does two or more things, double action. Oh, if only it were that simple. You see, most double action revolvers are actually double action, single action revolvers. Now what that means is that on a revolver like this Judge, the trigger has a long double action pull that cocks the hammer, rotates the cylinder, and releases the hammer. But if you so desire, you can also manually cock the hammer, which will put the trigger into single action mode, allowing you to use a shorter, cleaner trigger pull to perform the single action of dropping the hammer, generally resulting in a better aim shot. What this means is that we now have a plethora of little letter collections. SA for single action, which can also be abbreviated SAO or single action only, so as not to confuse it with DASA or double action and single action, which is also sometimes abbreviated simply as DA, meaning double action, even though it's usually double action and single action, which means they had to come up with a new abbreviation, DAO or double action only. This isn't nearly as simple as I thought it would be. Now, if you want me to further complicate things, these terms also apply in a very similar but slightly different way to semi-automatic pistols. Since semi-automatic pistols with, uh, you know, your Webleys and your Matib is excluded, don't generally have cylinders, and many don't even have hammers anymore. You know what? I think we're going to save that discussion for another time. Thanks for watching. Read my comments. See you next time.